What's up guys, it's David here with How to Beast. In this video, I wanna talk about physical insecurities and insecurities that men have due to you know certain physical traits. So maybe you're insecure because you're balding. Maybe you're insecure because you're short. Maybe you're insecure because you're a certain race. It doesn't matter. If you have some insecurity that relates to your physical appearance, then, then this applies to you. So the first thing to do is to understand why this thing bothers you. You know, why does it bother you that you're bald? Why does it bother you that you're a certain race? Take a minute and question, you know, question yourself why. And it might be because, you know, as it commonly is, that you feel insecure about your appearance because you're afraid that women aren't going to find you attractive because of how you look. But think to see if there's anything else that might not be so obvious. You know, maybe you're bald and back when you were in college you had long flowing hair and you were a very confident guy, you got with a lot of girls, you had a lot of friends and now you're bald and you're really depressed, you have really low self-esteem. And realize that if that's the reason why, well then you didn't lose your self-esteem and your mojo because you went bald. You know, something else happens along that line. You know, that doesn't, when your hair falls out, it doesn't magically change your confidence. So realize that and realize, and you know, that realization alone might be enough to give you a confidence boost and stop worrying so much about something that doesn't matter. The second thing to do is to accept the fact that some people aren't going to like you because of your, your the thing that you're insecure about. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to bullshit you and say that, you know, because you're bald, it doesn't matter at all with women. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, the vast majority of women aren't going to disqualify a guy just because he's bald or just because he's short or just because he's a certain race. But there are some women who will. There's some women who won't date a bald guy. There's some women who won't date a guy who's not a certain height. But you know what? You can't change your height. You can't change the fact that you're balding unless you take some drugs that are probably going to mess around with your hormone levels and, you know, it's not worth it. So you have to accept the fact that, yes, a certain subset of women aren't going to find me attractive because of this quality. You know, a certain subset of men might not respect me because I'm a certain race, because I'm not six foot four. But you can't control that. Just accept that fact. Accept that reality. Because that's what you're so deeply afraid of, is that people aren't going to like you because of that. And you know what? It's true on a very small level. So accept that reality and decide to say fuck you to anyone who falls into that category. If you're talking to a girl and she doesn't like you, well, first of all, you're not even going to know if she didn't like you because of your hair. And it's probably not because of your hair. It's only You're only going to think it's your hair because that's some bullshit story you're telling yourself because you're insecure about your hair or your height. Chances are she didn't like you because of something else. But even if she did happen not to like you because you were balding or because you were short, you have to accept that reality. You know, that woman isn't a woman that you're going to hook up with. That's not going to be your girlfriend or your wife. Move on to the next one. The chances of the next one also having that, that prejudice is so small, you shouldn't even worry about it. So again, accept the fact that some people aren't going to like you because of whatever it is that you're insecure about, even though it's a very tiny percentage of people, and decide just to say fuck you to those people. If you're not going to respect me because I'm balding or because I'm short or because I'm a certain race, and yeah, I'm going to keep using those three examples, but then you say, you know what, fuck you, I don't care about you, you don't respect me, I don't respect you either, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Why would you want to have something to do with someone who doesn't respect you for such a trivial matter? So once you've made that realization and that decision, the next thing to do is to focus on what you can control. And by that, I mean your fitness and your style. Just because you're short or balding or a certain race, it doesn't mean that you don't have to take control of your, your health. It doesn't mean you have to look like shit. You know, you should eat healthy foods, you should lift weights so that you build muscle, so you get, develop better posture, and so that you give a stronger first impression when you meet people, not to mention all the health benefits of being fit and being in shape. And that's the second part of it is once you get in shape, and not even once you get in shape, starting now, start dressing with more pride. Wear clothes that fit you well. You know, don't wear baggy ass pants or shirts that are, are way too big for you. Wear clothes that fit you and learn how colors match with each other so you wear stuff that matches and then dress appropriately to, you know, whatever event you're attending. And those are the things that you can control in terms of your appearance. You're, if you're fit and you dress with style, you know, fuck all the few people in the world who aren't going to respect you because of the one or two other things that, that your body isn't. That's who you are. You can't worry about that. You can only worry about certain things, and it only is going to kill your self-esteem and just make you neurotic and anxious to worry about these other things. 
when you start to worry about the things that you can control, it's very empowering. You start to see your body get in better shape. You start to see how fucking sexy you look in the mirror before you head out the door every day after you've dressed yourself up nicely. And that's what matters at the end of the day. That's going to help you build true confidence, stop worrying about the bullshit, and decide to live your life authentically and not, you know, stop wishing that you were someone else. That's all I got for this video. I hope that made an impact for you if you are someone who has some insecurities based around some of your physical features. Go out there, go crush it, and stay beastly.